going on YouTube? RDAP Dan here. Happy Sunday to everybody. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, I was going to have a quick video here talking about relationships during prison and when you get out of prison and kind of what to expect from that. I had a comment from a lady on one of my videos and she commented, I love that I found your channel. My love got 15 years and still has seven left. What experience have you had or seen involving relationships, marriage after being released from prison? I think the important thing for you to think about right now, and it seems like this is seriously on your mind. So the question you want to ask yourself, are you and him in the same place right now uh, mentally? And what I mean by that is I saw a lot of relationships while I was in prison where women stood by the men that were in prison. Meanwhile, these men may have had a couple of different women talking to them. And I even think sometimes the different women even knew that there were other women talking to their men. But for some reason, the women seemed to like the fact that they know where their man was, they knew what he was doing, and they knew he really couldn't be doing any serious type of cheating because he was in prison. Um, getting out of prison, there's going to be a whole new type of reality and challenges and trials that you guys are going to go through. And it's going to take a lot of work and it all starts with right now while he's in prison, being completely honest and open. Is that really what you want when he gets out of prison? Um, do you think that's really what he wants when he gets out of prison or there's always the possibility that. He wants somebody to be there for him right now and you're there for him. So the thing you want to ask yourself is how was your relationship before he went to prison? Was it honest? Was it open? Did you guys talk? Was there good communication or was there a lot of fighting and late nights and not knowing where each other were? Because if that's kind of how it was before, unless there's been some drastic change while he's in prison and actually went into some type of therapy or to classes found some way to really grab home with why he did these things and has spoken to you about them. I think it's fair to say that you can kind of count on these same type of issues popping back up. So just to wrap this up, cause this doesn't need to be a long video. It's pretty basic um, for your relationship to work. Once your loved one is out of prison, it's going to take 100% of open, honest communication right now. You need to tell him what problems you're going through. You need to tell him what you want out of a relationship. And it's got to be a two-way street. If there's no honesty now and there's a lot of just kind of brushing stuff under the rug because it seems like it's so far away and you'll just worry about it when you get closer, that's a recipe for disaster. Hopefully that's not your situation. And if you'd like to email me some more about that, we can definitely have another another video talking about it. But relationships aren't easy on the street they're not easy in prison and expectations of what you want it to be you just got to make sure that you're being realistic with that and you're not setting yourself up for failure because if it doesn't work out you're going to get upset and you're going to feel like you wasted all of these years when really you might have already known what the outcome was and you just liked it right now because you knew where everybody stands and it's sometimes easier when someone's in prison to have a relationship as crazy as that sounds that's the reality of it anyway hope that video was helpful for you and if you have any comments questions like my video share my video definitely subscribe to my channel guys and let me know if you need anything posted up here i'll gladly talk about it have a great afternoon rdap dan